Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. As you can see, I'm out here with my drone. My drone. And I thought a couple days ago, the best way to test for optical avoidance is, uh, hey, a lot of people, they fly their drone to the side of the house. But if the optical avoidance don't work, the drone hit the house and there go your propellers. So yesterday occurred to me when I made my optical avoidance test, but it was I just went to, for the front view. Today I'm going to test it on the side view and the back view, my optical avoidance. But for you, my dear listener, when you test your optical avoidance, don't test it inside of your house and definitely don't stand in front of the drone for it to hit you. Test it on something like this, a bush. If the drone hit the bush, I know it's not going to make a major impact on my propeller. It may damage it on a microscopic level, but on an eye level, it should not damage my drone at all because I, I, I flown into bushes before. And I don't see no damage on the drone for my eyesight. So I'm going to test my optical avoidance going forward. Let's, let's test it out there. I'm going forward. See, I'm going to back it up. I'll t back it up. Go forward. You see it's going slow, going slow. It won't, I guess optical voltage had a certain distance, you see. Let's back it up again. So it's way up, I back it up. And this is front optical voltage. The front optical voltage is working. It's working, it's not going forward at all. I'm pushing forward. Now, let me aim my drone to the back. I'm gonna go forward a little bit. You see it went forward freely, and I'm gonna come back. Let's see how the back optical avoidance works. Okay, it's working again. Now I'm gonna push it to the side. Move away. And that's the side facing in my direction. Then I have it facing me, as you can see, it's facing. Let me see if it's my drone. I did that people trash can. Okay, I'm just seeing if I see my drone, okay. I just see them people trash can, it's facing me. All right, the drone is facing in my direction, so it's from the side. Let's see if the optical avoidance works. It's saying it's working already. Okay, so that's the side optical avoidance. So it worked from the front, and working from the back. Now, let me go, I'm gonna have the drone facing me now. I'm moving, moving away from me. Not to, out the picture, maybe out the picture a little bit. Then I'm going to bring it back towards me. Let's see if the side optical avoidance works. Yep, it's working. So, I know my optical avoidance is working. But my main thing, people, I tested it on a bush. If the drone want to go crazy and hit the bush, it won't get severe damage. That's the main thing about my test. I test it on these bushes. So now, I know optical avoidance is working because I'm still pushing it to the... Uh, to the left. Alright, thank you for stopping by my good people. I hope you take a, some good notes on this. If you ever get any of uh, those drones with optical avoidance, test it out on a bush either in your backyard or somewhere in your neighborhood. I mean, because if you live in an inner city, inner city, tough inner city, you probably don't have no bush outside. But you may have a tree. You may have a tree out there. But the tree, if it hit the tree, it'll damage the propeller's tree. So the best thing, like I said, is to test your optical avoidance on, on a bush. On a bush, and that's even more better because a bush is almost like a leaves on a tree. You get my point? Bushes are like leaves on a tree, so it's best to test it on that. All right, so thank you for stopping by to get some insights on what you should use to test your optical avoidance. All right, until the next time, family, peace.